Martin Cameron's sculptural dialogues was based first on two extraordinary objects from the Newberger Museum of Art, a Bangwa figure and an extraordinary intricately carved vestigious of tusk, which is part of the Newberger collection. And around those two pieces, we develop a constellation of 28 objects that relate in a way or the other visually or intellectually mm -hmm. and we'll see how in one instance it goes even beyond borders. of modern art in New York with the famous exhibition African Negro Art. Those two pieces were present but with different kinds of attribution and they were not shown together. One of this extraordinary aspect of the exhibition is revealing the complete story of those two pieces that are from the same kingdom by two different covers. We can see it in the execution of those two pieces and united for the first time in 76 years. I want first the visitor to be intrigued. Once you are intrigued, you want to find out more. And why can you be intrigued in this exhibition? First of all, I think it's the variety of sculptures and the way they are treated, the beadwork, to the ivory, to the monumental, to the miniature. And if you are intrigued, and because there's also great power in this exhibition, you want to learn more about this great civilization you find in Cameroon, in the Cameroon Square Fields. <laughs> 